On this video, I'm gonna give you my best picture settings that I came up with on the Hisense U6N. And just to give you a quick update, I'm working on the full review for that television, the U7N, the Bravia 3, and I've already started filming some comparison videos as well. So there's a lot gonna hit the channel very soon. So that's why I haven't been uploading every day. We're just compiling footage. With that being said, let me talk about the U6N. Well, first of all, I will tell you that the U6N doesn't have the automatic calibration settings that you get on the U7 and U8N. So it took me about four hours to come up with these settings and they may not be the best. To be able to compare the picture, I want to show you what the TV looked like in low energy mode because that's gonna be the mode that I'm using. After calibration, there was a few settings that were still off, but I came to the conclusion, not every TV can be calibrated perfectly, even though we would love to. But here's a few images that I captured when I was calibrating this television. And the thing is, is that the blue levels were really low and there was a couple settings off on the television, but I did my best to get you some good settings that you can try out on your own television. A few things I want you to know. First of all, this is a 65 inch Google TV and it is a United States model. If you live in the UK, you probably have Vita, which is a different software and maybe a different television. If you can get into all these settings, you can try it out, but there's no guarantee that it's gonna work. Also, calibration should be done on your personal TV because you're calibrating what you own. So these settings, just take it with a grain of salt. With that being said, let's get into it. So currently I have the TV in theater mode. And as you can see here, this is the format that most people like. And here's the TV in filmmakers mode. And again, a lot of people recommend the settings, but as you can see, the picture gets quite a bit darker in comparison. Now I'm gonna show you the settings that I set up. And again, this is just my settings. You can try it out. As you notice, there's a lot more detail in the concrete floor. I was able to keep most of the shadow details. And overall, I kind of like this setting a little bit better using calibration software and a couple of tweaks for myself. Again, this is the theater mode. And these are the settings that I set up. And I want to show you one more example, and I'm gonna go through all the different picture profiles. So this is vivid, again, it's really bright. A lot of people don't like this setting, it kind of blows the scene out. And then we have standard, and this is the mode I recommend for everyday TV watching. And here's the theater mode again, and to me, it looks really good. I don't think you really need to change much, but if you want some more saturation, this is where my settings come in. So as you can see, the hair is a lot more redder, and it's just a really small change there, but you can see definitely a lot of details that you can get in the backgrounds as well as the foreground to get a little bit better picture. But again, these are my settings. You don't have to use them. It doesn't hurt anything to check it out if you just want something to do with your television and see if you like the settings better or worse. Again, small changes here. Now I'm gonna show you how you can put these settings on your television. And first we're gonna choose the picture mode and mind you, I chose energy savings mode because I probably won't use that, but you can put these settings under any of these inputs. You'll make sure that it's on all your sources so this will work on all your inputs. And I did turn off all these automatic sensors down here because this could mess up the settings by readjusting it by the TV. So the first thing we'll do is go into brightness. As you can see, I have local dimming on high, peak brightness on high, and I have the brightness of the TV at 79, but you can adjust this if it's too bright. I have the contrast at 50, black level at six, dark detail zone, and I did change the gamma from 2.2 over to 2.4. And basically what that does is adjust your grayscale. When it comes to active contrast, I have it on low, and high dynamic range, I have on auto. Next, we'll go into colors. I have the colors at 55. Again, if you don't want that punchier look, you can dim this down just a little bit. Hue at zero, color temperature at one, and blue light is turned off. Since this is a SDR setting, I do have the color space at BT709. Now, when it goes into clarity, sharpness at 25, again, all these options are turned off, but you can turn them on for better motion handling, things like that. Next, we're gonna go into the calibration settings. And I wish this TV had the automatic Calman calibration, but it doesn't. Under color tuner, didn't touch that at all, so you don't have to mess with that. Under white balance, we're only gonna be using two point. And I have the red offset at negative two, the green offset at negative three, the blue offset at negative two, the red gain at negative four, the green gain at negative one, and the blue gain at 15. 
And as you can see at the bottom, if you don't like these settings, you can reset that back to factory. We're not gonna be using the 20 point, so just leave that off. On gamma calibration, you wanna set the input level to 15% and the gain at 8%. And that's pretty much my settings if you like this picture. Now keep in mind at the bottom here, if I press reset, it will clear everything that I just showed you. So don't worry if you wanna try it out, it's not gonna hurt your TV in any way. So those are my settings. The only thing I would probably adjust is turn down the color just a little bit, just so it's not so punchy, but that'll be completely up to you. Do me a favor, if you try out these settings and they work in your television, let me know because I wanna make more videos like this so you can get a better setting for your particular television. I'm Tech Steve. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, our goal is 200,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Thanks all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.